The use of lithium-ion batteries is very popular in the electric vehicle industry due to its ability to store energy in a small space, its long lifespan, and its ability to support numerous charges. However, in the past, lithium batteries were not stable and got off to a rocky start in the 1970s. In the 1980s, lithium was replaced by lithium-ion batteries with less energy density. A possible solution to this energy density challenge lies in aluminum, a clean chemical element that is easy to recycle and does not require destructive mining to make aluminum ion batteries. But can aluminum replace lithium's long history in the electric vehicle industry? The use of lithium in rechargeable batteries has been dangerous due to its high energy density and inherent instability. This can create dendrites, small rigid structures that start fires when lithium ions accumulate on the anode surface, causing electrical shorts. For this reason, the Japanese looked for a non-metallic solution in lithium ions, which generate a specific and stable power of 3.60 volts per cell. In general, the charging characteristics of lithium ion batteries are good, but their progress is coming to an end. Aluminum is a possible alternative that can overcome the limitations of lithium batteries and improve the efficiency and safety of electric vehicles in the future. Over time, lithium-ion based technologies have been improving. In 1994, a Samsung 18650-cell with 18mm diameter and 65mm length could deliver up to 3000 amp hours. While back then the cost of manufacturing a lithium-ion battery with Samsung 18,650 cells rated at 1100 amps hour was more than $10. However, in 2001, the price dropped to less than $3 while the capacity increased to 1,900 amp hours, reducing costs and increasing specific energy. Thanks to new material additives and the absence of toxic elements were the key for lithium-ion batteries to lead the market. In addition, lithium-ion batteries do not have high operating or maintenance costs compared to nickel batteries, and their self-discharge processes are twice as efficient, which is useful in fuel metering applications. The nominal 3.60 volt cell voltage of a lithium-ion battery can power devices such as mobile phones tablets and digital cameras, which means simplification and reduced costs. As for the current cost of a car battery, although it has decreased, increasing demand and the possibility of a lithium shortage by 2025 may affect the price. According to Bloomberg, the cost of the cathode of each lithium ion cell adds up to more than half of the total cost of the cell, while the anode represents 12%. In general, the anode of a lithium-ion cell is made of natural or synthetic graphite, which tends to be less expensive than other batteries. The high cost of lithium battery cathodes stems from their critical role in battery chemistry, as they are the positively charged electrodes through which electrons and positively charged molecules flow during discharge. The cathode component influence is the performance, autonomy, and thermal safety of the battery and various common compositions have been developed such as lithium iron phosphate, lithium nickel manganese cobalt, and lithium oxide. In lithium ion batteries, the cathode is a metal oxide and the anode is a porous carbon derived from graphene. Manufacturers have explored the use of additives to improve anode performance, such as silicon alloys, although these present expansion problems during charging. Hybrid cells combining ternary nickel cobalt manganese lithium cells with lithium ferrophosphate cells have also been developed to increase specific power and reduce cost by eliminating conventional modules. Despite the various options available on the battery market, lithium ion batteries are popular due to their structure consisting of a metal oxide positive electrode shielded in an aluminum current collector a graphite carbon negative electrode encased in a copper current collector, a separator and lithium salt electrolyte in an organic solvent. However, lithium ion batteries are difficult to recycle because lithium is flammable and requires more complex processes to reuse, making it difficult to transport to recycling centers due to its weight. 
Batteries are recycled by torturing and mixing their components to obtain a powder that is liquefied and separated into pots, or by dissolving an acid to recover the contained metal. Although electric car batteries can be reusable and have a long lifespan, current recycling methods are not sophisticated enough to extract most of the key metals. Furthermore, the big challenge remains that it is cheaper to mine most of the metals in a lithium-ion battery than it is to recycle them. Lithium mining emits a large amount of carbon dioxide, and a future lithium shortage is expected. Pilot programs like CalRecycle and Redwood are collaborating with car companies in research to recycle lithium batteries from electric cars, tablets, and phones. Although there are ultra-porous aluminum and graphene batteries that are cheaper and easier to recycle, Griffin Manufacturing has developed aluminum ion graphene battery cells that are safer and more environmentally sustainable. These cells charge up to 60 times faster than a conventional lithium ion battery and require no cooling, making them a more attractive option for powering electric vehicles. The company will bring these cells to market in early 2023 and in the first quarter of 2024 for use in car batteries. New graphene aluminum ultra battery cell technology could be industrialized quickly and at a lower cost than lithium ion batteries. These cells fit into current lithium ion battery cases without requiring new infrastructure. In addition, the new technology has no known theoretical limit in terms of capacity and the shapes of the batteries can be changed and their voltage varied to make them similar to lithium-ion batteries. Unlike some lithium-ion cells that have limits on how many amps they can handle, this new technology has no such problem. Natural graphite and aluminum-ion technology has an energy density three times greater than lithium-ion cells. This technology delivers 68.7 watt-hours per kilogram and 41.2 watt-hours per kilogram, while its graphite foam boosts up to 3,000 watt-hours per kilogram. The battery can reach levels of up to 150 to 160 watt-hours per kilogram and 7,000 watt-hours per kilogram. Electrochemical engineers found a methodology to make graphene more porous and a way to store more aluminum atoms in each of these pores. By creating more pores, the atoms stick together inside the graphene and become much more like a bowling ball on a mattress. The aluminum and graphene cells do not use exotic materials that require complex recycling processes, and the battery is easy to rebuild because it uses aluminum foil, ionic liquid aluminum chloride, and urea. There are 64 million metric tons of aluminum worldwide, and it is 8% of the Earth's crust, and most of the aluminum can be mined from Australia. Other advantages of aluminum and graphene cells are that they do not use copper, whose market value is $8,470 per ton, and aluminum and sulfur batteries do not generate dendrites. An aluminum sulfur battery costs $8.99 per kilowatt hour, which is 16% less than the cost of current lithium ion batteries. It is specially designed for small-scale stationary energy storage applications.